Recently, in our house, another Windows PC, admittedly quite old, killed its toes up. So, we've recently, six months ago, bought a Mac M1, which is now moving over into that role. So, to replace it, we've actually bought a Mac M2. Now, these are both base specs. So, it's an 8GB M1 and 8GB M2. Now, when I was looking at doing this, I was... Uh, trying to look at videos that compare normal rendering times in DaVinci between these two exact models. But all I could find was like comparisons between the M1 and an M2 Pro or an M1 and a iPad Pro. So here we've got the exact same base spec. Now, some people try and tell you not to use this one because it's got a single chip SSD, which is slower than that one, 30 to 50% slower. So, how does that work in real life? Does that render faster? Well, we're going to do a very simple test here to find out. We're going to render 4K video in DaVinci Resolve, which a lot of everyday creators use. We're going to use uh, H.264 codecs, everyday stuff, no fancy ProRes or anything. This is for people who like use a GoPro or film with their camera. Just normal, everyday, not rich creators. And we're gonna do 4K video. This is AV1 codex, obviously in 4K. Just gonna render it on there, render it on there, and uh, see what results we get. So let's carry on. Right, so first up is the M1. Uh, we've got it on H.264 Master, so it's QuickTime, H.264, 4K, 60 frames a minute, 60 frames a minute, 60 frames a second. So, let's uh, add to render queue, replace, we did the test earlier, and let's uh, render all. Oh. Okay, we can see there that uh, finished it in 12 minutes, 6 seconds. Now, I must add a caveat here that uh, when I'm using GoPro footage or phone footage, the M1 usually renders the footage in just slightly longer. So if it's 5 minutes, it'll take like 5 minutes, 36 minutes to render it. So this is a clip I downloaded off the internet. But as we're using the same clip on both machines, it does give you a direct comparison. So on to 8K on the M1. Okay, here we are with the M2, same settings, uh, same file, quick time, H264, H264 master, uh, 59 frames a second, all that good stuff. And uh, let's render this one out. So, as we can see, uh, the M2 did this in 10 minutes 25, compared to the 12 minutes 6 of the M1. That's a saving of 1 minute 31 seconds, or around 14% rendering time on this occasion. So, for the everyday creator, is it worth upgrading from the M1 to the M2? Well, perhaps if you sell the M1 and uh, Pay the little bit extra that you might get and get the M2, perhaps. Remember that uh, if you're doing much larger projects, this 12% on this case, saving the time, is going to translate up to a lot more time. But 
that decision is up to you. I'm just presenting you with the evidence here and now you can go and make your own informed decisions.